What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Scratch for Discord blocks. So this isn't really creating your own, but it is definitely suggesting so you can basically program your own Scratch for Discord blocks and suggest them. If you don't know what Scratch for Discord is and if you're new to the channel, then make sure to watch the first two videos. Scratch for Discord is basically a software that lets you create a Discord bot with drag and drop blocks. So first thing, go down in the description and click on the link and you'll get something like this. So in here, this is your workspace. This is kind of similar to Scratch for Discord itself actually. And this website is actually has nothing to do with Scratch for Discord. This is another just another website. You can also use it to program Scratch for Discord blocks and submit them. The connections mean that what will it connect to? So this is a preview of the block. Right now it's just blank because there's nothing selected. But if you change it to left output, then you can only connect it to the left. And if you do top and bottom, then it's going to be something like this. So it's going to be in the middle. Top connection is if it has to be in the bottom of something and bottom connection is usually like an event like when a message is received and no connections the only block that i can think of with no connections is the connect to discord with the token block so the name is going to be the actual block name so if i wanted to create for example a reply block i know there's already a reply block but it's one of the most used blocks in Scratch for Discord, so I'm just going to recreate that. And in the inputs, you would have to go to the input category on the left side of your screen. So there's dummy input, statement input, and value input. So value input is that it adds something on the side over here. So the name can be text, and the type can be a string. And it can be anything over here, a boolean is true or false, a number is an integer, string means text, and inside is going to be what it says, so kind of like a label. So you can go to field and put text block, and put, I'm just going to put text, I'll actually put reply text because the command name actually doesn't show anywhere. You can also change the color of the block, you can change the hue, which is basically just any color. I'm going to make it kind of like a light blue because that what the, that's what the actual reply block is in Scratch for Discord. So if you actually add another value input, it puts it like this, a reply text embed, and then it's just going to keep going. To change that, you can change over here, automatic inputs. If you put it external, it'll make it like in a line, but if you put it in line, then it will all be in a line. So this is depends on, depending on you, what you want it to look like. For now, I'm going to make it in line. I'm also going to make the embed a boolean just to show you. Well, it actually nothing changes over here, but in Scratch for Discord, it would make it so that they can only put the true or false ball block. You can also put a statement input. They would This would kind of be like then. So in Scratch for Discord, you can... I think there's actually a block where it's reply, then, and then inside the then, you could put to edit the message or delete the reply. So I'll show you the statement input. I'm gonna make it, type is gonna be any, and then inside you would put the field, you go to field and then put text, and inside the text, put then. So this is basically a full scratch for discord block. This is what blocks usually look like. This isn't a puzzle piece, it's a circle. There's also another type of input, which is dummy input. If you put the dummy input in, you can put in some text, say just some random text, and it would just create some text over there. It isn't really used that much, not really that important, but you can just use it to give info or something. I'm also going to add another value input. If you put it after the statement input, it would put it below the statement input, but I'm going to put it here, so it's kind of after the embed, and I'm going to name it drop down, and in there, I'm going to put like, uh, in the text, I'll put like select in there you would go to field and drag in the drop down menu and then if you click on the drop down menu there would be a bunch of options these are already pre-filled so I'm gonna name it drop down and this is what the user sees so option one option two and option three and this is gonna be what the software sees so if you go to settings for the drop down menu you can also add an image option you can also create a checkbox you would go to field and drag in the checkbox. 
and the name would just be some type of name that's related so i just named it mention and you would be able to check it and uncheck it you can also make a color option so if you put it in here then if you click on this you would be able to choose any color this is actually exactly how it looks in scratch for discord but if you want to do text but instead of text i would make it text input which makes it already become text so you can just go in there you can also put a numeric input in the numeric input this is just the default that's already there and the minimum and the maximum and then if i click on this i can change it to anything and if i type a letter it turns red and when I click out of it, it just goes back to the what it was previously. You can also put a variable item. So in some blocks in Scratch for Discord, they make you choose a variable. So these would be every variable that I have on my project. And I would choose one variable. And also you can put an other in this type. So for example, if I wanted a channel. So if you wanted to select a channel, for example, you could go to type and put an other and put in channel this doesn't do anything in this website itself because this doesn't recognize channel and it's not especially for scratch for discord so like in scratch for discord when you would do channel it would register as channel so it would make anything inside here have to be a channel so in scratch for discord if i have the type as channel then it would make it so i can only drag a channel in here i'm gonna use this block as an example send in the channel so i'll just quickly enable it and in the send circle, you would put any text. And in the channel, you would either have to put anything with the channel type. So you would scroll down, you can put message channel, you can get another channel. So the type channel would make it so you can only put anything with this type of channel. It can also be like something like member, so you would have to put mention member or message author or get the member or something like that. So the type any would make it so it would be anything, you can put anything inside it, but any of would be make would make it so you can only do any of these options that that we will specify. So I'm gonna say the type any of a number or a string and if you wanted to add more options you can go to settings and add more just drag them over there and you can remove them too by just doing that so this would make it so that you can only put in either a number or a string so when you're done making your block in this website you go to a new tab and go to pastebin.com so you're gonna have to create two paste bins one for the javascript code and one for the json code so go over to here when you go to pastebin you should be over here make sure you log in or sign up so go to the blockly website and go to here this is the json code so just highlight all of it Control c and then go over here and paste it in this pastebin if you want you can set the syntax highlighting to json but i don't think it really matters paste expiration ma make sure it's set to never paste exposure public and folder you can leave that blank password you don't need a password make sure the burn after red is off too and the name slash title can be whatever you want i would recommend making it to your block name whatever block you want to make so i just made a reply so i'll make name it reply and click create new paste and now make sure this tab is open and then open paste it in a new tab again and create another new paste go back here and copy all of the javascript code so just highlight the whole thing Control c and paste it in here i'm gonna make the syntax highlighting javascript and same things as last time never public none and the name is gonna be reply js and click create new paste and then you actually have to join the official scratch for discord community server so just a quick edit here unfortunately the official scratch for discord server actually got hacked someone hacked the scratch for discord server or it got raided and if you want to know more info on that you can look at the pinned comment you can still do this process you just have to join my server down below and it's the exact same instructions as what i'm going to show you now the only thing different is when it says to join the official scratch for discord server just join my server instead and when it says to go to hashtag bot commands go to hashtag bot commands in my server it's a discord.gg slash s40 you go to hashtag bot commands channel in the official scratch for discord server type in exclamation mark block and then you go here make sure you're in your json that looks like this and copy the url and put it in, in there 
and then put a space, make sure there's a space, and go to your JS one, copy the link, and paste it in there. And then after both of the links, you can put a name or description. I'm gonna name it test for tutorial and press enter if you go to if you scroll down and go to hashtag block ideas you will see that the s4d block test block will tag a bunch of people and this is just notifying them that there is a new block suggestion and it will say your username new block request js and json the description is test for tutorial and that's basically how to do it after that you just have to wait until the developers see it and if they think it's good then they'll add your block if not, then they'll probably just ignore it. So make sure to join the Scratch for Discord community Discord server. And also make sure to join my Discord server. In both servers, you can get help, self-promote your bot, and get news about the new block updates in Scratch for Discord. In the next video, thanks for 100 subscribers. That will be the next video. The next video will be a 100 subscriber special. I have something really big planned. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.